Hi boys and girls, today we're gonna do a sequencing activity about the story, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. So if you haven't read it yet, you need to read it so you can help me with the sequencing activity. For the sequencing activity, we're gonna put each one of these events that happened in the story in the right order. So we'll put whatever happened first with the number one, second with the number two, and then third with the number three, and so on, all the way to the eighth event that happened in the story. And these are our events. And if we don't remember something, that's okay, because we have the story so we can look back in the story. Let's see what happened first. The very first event that happened in the If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. Let's open up the pages and see. The first thing that happened was he had a cookie. Do any of these event pictures look like the mouse is having a cookie? This one right here. So we're gonna put it on the number one because that's the first thing that happened. Does anyone remember what happened next? He had his cookie and then what did he ask for next? That's the second event that happened in the book. Hmm. If you don't remember, we can look back in the book. What is he doing next? He had his cookie and now he wants a glass of milk. Do you see a glass of milk here? There it is. So that would be the second thing that happened. He had his cookie and then he wanted his glass of milk. What happened next? Do you remember? Let's look back. He looks like his belly's all full and what's all over his face? Crumbs. So he asked for a napkin and then he said, that he wants to look in the mirror. Right there is that word mirror. So when he looks in the mirror, do we see that step on here? Oh, there's a mirror right there. He's gonna look in the mirror for number three. And then what happens when he looks in the mirror? Let's take a look. I'll read the words. When he looks into the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors. And there he is, cutting his hair. Do we have scissors as one of our next steps? We do, so that would be step number one, two, three, four. So that is what happened next. So he had his cookie, he had a glass of milk, and then he had to look in the mirror to see if his face was all clean. And then he realized he needed a haircut. So he cut his hair with scissors, what happens next? Let's look at the events that we have here. We have a refrigerator. We have cleaning supplies. We have the mouse taking a nap and a crayon. If we don't remember, we can look back at the pictures. So he made a big mess from cutting his hair. Do you see all the hair? And what did that make him want to do next? He wanted to clean. Do we have any cleaning supplies in here? Oh, we do. So which event would that be? What number's next? Number five. So after he cuts his hair, he has to clean up all the mess that he made. So let's look at the pictures. There he goes, he cleans away and he works so hard that that makes him want to, what do you think? Do any of the events sound like what he does next? That makes him want to take a nap. If you said take a nap, give yourself a big pat on the back. That was the sixth event that happened during the story. So let's look back at the pages and check. He made a big mess, he cleaned up, and then he got so sleepy that he made himself a bed to take a nap. And then they started to read a story. And what did that story make him want to do? What did it make him want to do after he saw all the pictures in the story? Do you remember? It made him want to draw a picture. So would we put refrigerator or crayon there next? Crayon, because that's what happened next in the story. He wanted to draw a picture. And last, let's see what happens. He's drawing his picture. There's his picture that he made all finished. He signs his name. And all that he just did, all of these events, 
What did it make him feel in the end? It made him feel so thirsty. So where's he gonna go to get a drink? What do you think? The refrigerator is right. Ready, we can look at the last page. He's gonna go to the refrigerator to get that glass of milk. Good job, guys, you did an awesome job. Let's walk through exactly what happened in the story, the events. So first, he had his cookie, then he wanted his glass of milk, then his face got all messy and he needed to clean himself up to look through the mirror, and then he realized he needed a haircut, so he cut his hair with scissors, and then he made a big mess with the scissors, so what did he do next? He cleaned it all up and all that cleaning made him so sleepy. And what did they do after they took, before they took a nap? They read a book and that made him want to draw a picture. And then after he drew the picture, he realized he was so thirsty that he needed to get a glass of milk. And if he wants a glass of milk, that means he's gonna want what to go with it? A cookie. You guys did such a good job. And we just told the whole story through looking at the events without the pages. You guys did a great job. I hope you have a great day. Bye.